started. You're gonna want to first, of course, turn on the drone. So you're gonna do that by just pressing once and then holding again to power up the drone and it's gonna go through its boot up sequence. You'll wanna give it a few seconds to do so. We'll go ahead and put that down. And as of right now, go ahead and launch the DJI Fly app because that's the app that you're gonna need in order to connect over to the drone. So we're kind of sitting here on the home page, and that should give you enough time for the drone to go through its boot cycle. Once again, flip the drone over. You can see the flashing yellow is indicated that the boot up process has gone through and it's waiting for an RC signal. You're actually going to press and hold this button for two seconds. You'll get a beep and you can see that the light is now turned blue. This is indicating that we are in quick uh, transfer mode. We can set the drone now and you can see now on the phone that we have a prompt to connect to, in this case, Atlantis. It's the name that I gave it. And you're gonna want to tap on where it says connect. Once you've clicked on connect, it's going to try to connect to the drone and you may get a prompt indicating what Wi-Fi you want to connect to. You'll want to click allow. Uh, if it's your first time doing it, you will also may need to press the button on the backside to confirm. So there's just a few extra things that you may need to do. Now, once you are connected to the drone, you can see that we have the Atlantis, we've got the drone, a photo of the drone, we've got a battery percentage, but we've also got the option to tap on view album. So we'll go ahead and tap on view album. And now that we're connected, we can see everything that's on the drone's memory card. So you're gonna wanna go through here and just select which one that you want. So in this case, uh, this is a shot that's actually just up the road from where I'm at right now. We'll tap on that. And you can see we have an indicator at the top that says not downloaded. And we have a download uh, icon down in the bottom left hand corner just to the right of the trash can. That's got like an upside down bracket with an arrow. You can tap on that and it's gonna ask you to select your download mode. You have the option to download a full download with full res, everything downloads it directly to the phone or you can do a trimmed download. Now, I'm unable to do a trimmed download because I accidentally deleted the video cache of this file. If you don't have the video cache for some reason it won't let you download it but what that would essentially let you do is you can trim down that video clip to exactly what you're looking for and then you can either export it in the full resolution or you can downscale it to like 720p or 1080p and save a little bit of space so that gives you that option in any case once you've got what you want downloaded you'll click full download depending on your area you can transfer up to 20 megabytes per second if you're in, on a 5.8 gigahertz band if you're stuck to 2.4 i believe it's like six megabytes per second and that is uh, that is region restricted so whatever you have access to once it's done it's going to bring you back to the actual um, file itself you'll no longer you'll see that we no longer have uh, not downloaded anymore the download option is not there anymore and uh, we've successfully downloaded that file Going back, if you decide that you wanted to download a bunch of different files all at once, you can actually multi-select by clicking the little check mark with the box up in the top right-hand corner. That's gonna enable batch select mode, which will allow you to go through and select all of the individual ones. And then once again, you can click download. Now, with a batch select, you cannot use a trim download. It will download the full resolution because you're downloading the entire file to your phone. Once you have finished with the quick transfer and the files have successfully transferred, you can just simply turn the drone over and turn the drone off in order to break that connection.